It's a tremendous milestone for me. Very emotional. Unbelievable. A lot of detail. Each balloon says the, the Masechta and the Mount Adapim per Masechta. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to say that it's not a thousand days. It's one day, one daf, and then another day, and then another day. It's a thousand times one. You have to take one day at a time and try to be consistent. Sometimes in life, you see a nais niglo, and you have to, you have to appreciate it. For me, this is a nais niglo. Anybody that knows my personality, I'm, I'm, sh- I'm choking up over here. If you know my personality, uh, one of our friends from our Chabura here came to me the first week that I started this year, four years ago, and he said, okay, this is going to be another two-month episode for you. And he was right in a way, because you know my wife always points out that we have uh, at least 100, 200 books in our home self-help books and all sorts of books that I bought and I only read the first three, four pages. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a strong starter, not a very good finisher. So to be here a thousand days later is, uh, is a nice nigla. So tremendous akar satayv to rebunish Laylam, obviously. But I want to say thank you to the Laylam because in fact, your camera's on the... Sorry. It's not a problem. It, it's, it's the chevra. I want to say to, to the guys here in the room, the guys that are watching, the guys that push. Because obviously without you, I wouldn't be doing it. It's the, this chayvos that you created for me that I'm here today. And I wanted to do something in return. Obviously I can't. I wanted to do something symbolic. Very, very symbolic on a simple level, symbolic. I brought with me... A thousand shekel. And I want each person to take one note, one from here. However, I'm not just going to give it to you like this and that you go ahead and take it and pass it on. You've got to do something MDY style. This is how a Litvisha guy gives dollars. So, now, you get 20, you get 20 shekel, you. The kids, the kids. I knew it's not going to go anyway. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sign. You have to give it out. My, my son and Heider, the kids were complaining. The kids were complaining that all the Mises are Hasidish Mises in, in Yeshiva, in Heider. You hear? It says commotion. It's just 20 shekels. Oh my God. 50. He gets a 50 or. <laughs> There's a big problem in the cheder because all the malamdim, not all, a lot of the malamdim, my son's cheder, are chasidish. So they went to the manal. They said, you know, the kids are coming home every day with chasidish stories. Could we st- stick in some literature and ISIS? So one of the kids came home. And he told his father, you know, Rav Shach and Panovich. Gives out dollars every week. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the bottom line is that I think everybody can learn a lesson here and take it home. 
If Eli Stefanski can do this, I promise you anybody can do it. There's no excuses, there's no disease, there's no chasanas, there's nothing. There's no excuses when it comes to the daf. Vaharaya, I'm going to be mechai of you. If you have a DD, you don't have a DD, some with the taina, without the taina. At the end of the day, anybody can do it. So today, this morning, I was reflecting on the past thousand days. I wanted to share with you some of the highlights of, of this streak, perhaps. Well, just recently, I don't know, a couple months ago, I had a very high fever. I had COVID. And I gave sheer, not bad. Exactly a year ago, to the day, was my son's chasana in Chicago, exactly a year ago, and against the will of some of my bnei mishpacha, I, <laughs> I gave a shir anyway. I had to, whatever, I'm not gonna give a shir. It was at a point in time in the wedding which I didn't really need to be there, and give <laughs> 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 a shir anyway. Almost a year ago, Matze Tishabov, I gave two shiurim right after the fast. I remember feeling very weak. Two, and then just a few hours later, I had to give the one for the morning. So there's a lot of, uh, I think the, the Shkalim, Erev Pesach, where I had to give three shiurim in 17 hours, was really, really difficult. But one of the things that every time I think about it, I cringe, is the day that my first grandson was born. Brochus daf chafei. I went back to that daf today, this morning, and I, I cringe every time I think about it. I really wanted to be there for the birth, so I was there up all night. Obviously, not a hundred percent prepared for the shear. And when he was born, they said that my daughter lost consciousness, and they don't know what to do, and they, they're going to bring her into the OR. But I had a shear. I had to get back to 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 to, to Ramat B'chemish. I had a taxi waiting. I picked up the baby, I said hello, put the baby down, Mamash a second, jumped in the taxi, got here. But the entire shear, I'm thinking about my daughter. And I, I have a picture here. I don't know if you want to show it here. Are you able to show it? It's, this is me in the middle of the shear. Kind of, now I was looking back, it's like, wow. Meshuggah. You remember that? I came like 15 minutes late, the whole thing, but... Siyat Shmai, that in every situation, all these situations, at the end of the day, we're able to pull off a shear. There's another day, Tainus Daf, yeah, we could close the picture. Tainus Daf Chav Gimel was the closest call I ever had. I decided since it's an easier Daf, I'll prepare it before shear. I'll get up early and prepare before shear, which I usually do anyway, but it was more of a gathered kind of Daf. And I got up at seven o'clock. Shear starts at 7.15. I missed the one time in a thousand days, that I missed the alarm completely, but I still had time. So I ran here and he started saying shir without anything. So I brought an art school with me. I thought maybe in middle of shir, I'm going to have to open up the art school or something. He started from the regular Gemara. And a couple minutes in, I, I didn't go back to that one, but a couple minutes in, I realized I didn't say Birkas Atariya. So I had to stop shir, say Birkas Atariya. And that was the closest call in Baruch Hashem. Because it was the easier Gemara, I was able to pull through. So, real quickly, just a, a quick vart. I, is there a chumash somewhere? You have a chumash? The chumashim are over there. Switzerland Hotel. Switzerland Hotel. Ah, okay. Oh, shkoyach. I thought it was uh, unbelievable when I hit this pasuk. Mamish from this week's parish, you're not going to believe it. The words, the first pasuk in... I'm not going to tell you because the Balikari are going to scream out. The first Pasuk in Shani. Hashem Elikei Ava Yisechem Yosef Alechem Kochem Elef Pe'omim Bivar Cheschem Kasher Dibelochem So Rashi says here that they were telling Moshe Rabbeinu why are you giving us a bracha for a thousand? Hashem said the bracha is unlimited like the, like the stars. So Moshe Rabbeinu said I'm going to give you my own bracha a thousand. The rest will be from Hashem. So I forgot who it, who it is, whoever knows the, uh, the name. He says, but, but at the end of the day, why did Moshe Rabbeinu step in here? The, the, Kosh Baruch bracha is unlimited. So why does, why, who needs a Moshe Rabbeinu's limited bracha of a thousand? So he says, because as you see in the Psukim, 
And right after it starts the, the, the tune of Eicha, when Kla Yisrael is not behaving, they weren't getting along, so you need Moshe Rabbeinu's bracha. But I should have kept that open. But okay, but once you have Achdos and Kla Yisrael, then, then you have you have Ein Soif, you have a Kodesh Baruch Hu's bracha Ein Soif. So, if we, here in MDY and in Klai Yisrael, we have the Achdos, we have the together, we'll be Zoycha, to finish Shas together, Biritzifos. And I want to tell you another word that I saw from, what's his name? Moishi Zak, from Emelich Biederman. A beautiful word, because we're Mamish here in the days of, the nine days, and as I mentioned, Arna Kayan is the only one who's mentioned the Torah in his yard side. And we always lay the parsha on his yard side. It's always there. What's the significance? Why? Why only him? So Sfasem says an amazing thing. He says, the other week we read by the Par, Baal Par. It's a disgusting Avedi Zara. You relieve yourself in front of Avedi Zara. Moshe Rabbein was buried right there next to the Baal Par. Why? So in Saita, the, the Tesis brings a Medrash that the Pa'ar would go up every year and remind the Kesh Baruch about the terrible Avera that Klai Yisrael did. So we need Moshe Rabbeinu to counterbalance that and, and fight for Klai Yisrael. So they buried Moshe Rabbeinu right there to take care of that Maisa. Says the Sfasemes, that's Moshe Rabbeinu taking care of that Maisa. Aaron HaKoyen is taking care of this Kufa, of the nine days. Because who's the biggest Oyev Shalom, Bereid of Shalom? The whole nine days is about the lack of Achdos in Klai Yisrael, the Ben Olam Chaveroi. So the Torah is saying, no, B'chodesh HaChamishi in the fifth month, Rosh Chodesh Av. That's when Aaron HaKoyen was nifter to take care of you, Klai Yisrael. It's a beautiful word. Okay. So we're holding Dav Chovzayin Amudal. Zishkoyach again to Tomer for putting this together, I'm assuming. Who? Yoshi. Yoshi again comes through. Wow. Zishkoyach Yoshi. Zishkoyach everybody else who's Mishtatif. And Bezer Hashem. Weiter. Oh, I have to see the sponsors. We have guests. Who do we have? Who? Uh, you haven't been here for a few days, Sadiq. He's been here for a week. The Koilo is sponsored by Anonymous for all the new people that joined, including David Feinberg. Shkoyach, David, for being here. The Mesechta is sponsored by Leadership of Moshe Allah, Ben Otto Shalom, Leadership of Yisrael Baruch, and Moshe Aaron. And for that, Slach, I'm calling in for my children. The parents of Mesechta, Jeff Razim, Schuz, and my son, Yosef Simcha, Chaim, Ben Sar, Chan, and Rafu Shlema. Paris Achoydesh, by lack and loving families, like injuries, because Tari is the best gula. Paris Achoydesh, Ragi Chavis, RL 149, is close for my family, myself, to the game of RL Atzal. Paris Achoydesh, the Nishma Zachari ben Moshe. Paris Achoydesh, Benji Nesti, Israel, and family, memory of our Zaydi, Moshe Minora, and three cousins. Sorry, Klai, and Riki, and Rachel, and Minora. On the 12th yard side, and Shamash should all have an Aliyah. Rosen, so I family in honor of the 20th yard side of Ramosh Menachem Mendel, Ben, Reb, David Doiv, I think it is. Came out backwards again. By the Hod family, Hod, they're here. Shalom Aleichem Yishkoyach. How many days in a row did you come in from Yerushalayim? This is a record, maybe. Maybe Fischl broke it. How, how many days? Eight days straight, driving in every single morning from Yerushalayim. You live in Flappish, right? Queens, Queens. In Akarata Tov of Reb Eli and Kol Mishpach Dem Diwai for your hospitality this trip. Thank you. Beautiful. Reb Boise, just a quick reminder that we are available on WhatsApp, you get to share every day on WhatsApp. I think three, 4,000 people get every day WhatsApp. All Daf. I was surprised to see the numbers. Over 3,000 3, 3, views a day on All Daf. Torah Anytime. YouTube. Kol HaShon. The 8 Minute Daf app. What else? And all major podcasts. Huh? Portal Daf Hayoimi. Givaldik. Okay, it's a great site. We're on that site. Amazing. I don't know. Shkoyach. If I don't do this now, even though we're so, so late, Yisrael Goldstein took this off his car and gave it to me. Shkoyach. The covered the return of the eight minute daf, I guess. Shkoyach. And this I got in 
Taranto. Beautiful. Shkoyach. Zog the Gemara. So, Rabbi Sai, we had in our Mishnah a woman who was prisoned by the Goyim. And the Mishnah makes a distinction. If she, it depends if she was imprisoned for monetary reasons or for nefashas. Nefashas makes her more susceptible to Toma from the Goyim. And then we had Rav. Rav says that if the non Jew is ruling, then there's no difference between monetary and non monetary. He's in, he's in charge, in charge of a Mela. She is not believed, she's, she's Tmeo. So Rava had a question from this unbelievable concept. It's a terrible concept, the Ruhana concept, that if somebody uses his own wife for collateral, so it says she needs Adem. She needs Adem to prove that she's to her. Well, what about, what about a, an imprisoned woman? Imprisoned woman is different than Hurano. Hurano is more susceptible to Tuma because she, if you don't pay the Chayv, so it's almost like he has Rishos. And you go Midas, you go to his house Midas. Somebody that was Nechbash is not Midas and you don't, there's, no, there's no time limit or whatever. Okay, so that was the Gemara's question. And then the Gemara says, the Teretz, and that's where we're, our, we're holding right here, that no, you can't be medayik from Hurana. That in Hurana you need Edim, but just a regular imprisoned woman doesn't need Edim. And Rav, Rav who makes that distinction and says that in or when the Goyim rule, you need Edim, over here it says you don't need Edim. So the Gemara says, no, Maisa Shoyaka Don't bring any riot from Hurana. There's a story, there was a Maisa about Hurana, and over there she needed Edim, but Enchanami, Nechbesha is the same thing as Hurana. Now, the Gemara is going to do a flip. Rav says, Fakert. Or, it was a different kind of question. So let's see. Ikeda Amri. Some say, it's the same components that we had yesterday, just we're using it in the reverse. Let's see how they do that. Ikeda Amri, Omer Rav. Afananami Tanino. We have a raya to what Rav says. What does Rav say? When the guy rules, then he rules. So if he has your wife in prison, it doesn't matter if she's in prison for money, in prison for, for capital punishment, he's going to be metamer. So I have a right to that. It says, hey, Rabbi Yisya Koyin, Rabbi Zechayi, Ben Akatsov, Al Bas Yisrael, Shu Hurano, Bashkelon, Birchaku, Ben Mishpachta. This is a story where a woman, crazy Misa, I don't know how desperate these people were back then. The guy needed money. He says, I'll pay you back. Varai, here's my wife as collateral. Sugar. So obviously he didn't pay back. And then you had a situation. What do you do with this woman? Her own family distanced her. In other words, they said, we can't marry her. We're Kayahan and we're not marrying her. They said yesterday, perhaps the Edim, some of them say, the Edim are, were uh, Eved, the Shifcha, as we're going to see. The Edim say, no, there's no Avera done. Chachamim say, you have to trust the Edim. Don't be super machmer like the family. Who tells you that there was a Hurana here? You know, the Edom are the ones that said Hurana, so they also believed that there's no Yichod and no Toma. It's a song, but that's for after nine days. If you're not going to trust the Edom that there was Hurana, don't trust them there was Toma. You have to trust them that there's no Toma. And the Gemara continues, literally word for word almost that we had yesterday, the same idea, but we're going to try to use it in reverse. Vashkelon, over here is a little different. Vashkelon, da'idin, Yesterday we used it as what? Vashkelon is under the rule of the non-Jew. And today we're using it for a raya for us. Vashkelon, da'idin, Over there that story was, why do you, why do you give your wife as collateral? Not for capital punishment, but for she, we, you owe taxes. He promised whoever it is, he owes money to somebody and give your wife as collateral. So it's mama. The time of the Edim, Edim, Oisa. And it's only because there's Edim. But if there's no Edim, no not. My love. There's no difference. A captured woman is captured. There's no difference whether it's Hurana or she's imprisoned. Loi. Hurana Shani. And that we explain. Somebody goes willingly to somebody's house as collateral. And there's a time limit. You don't pay the, the loan by August 2nd. You get to keep my wife. So obviously it's going to be metamer. 
And some actually use this to answer a question, a contradiction between the Mishnahites. Tanan, it says the Mishnah, our Mishnah, if she was in prison because he owed money, then she's allowed to go back to her husband. And then we have the same question from the story of Arana, Vachulu. The Gemara is not going to say the whole story now, because we just said it three times. You see that in the case of monetary, you need witnesses. And if there's no witnesses, we're going to say she did become Tomei. You told me that if it's only money, even the guy is not going to be Metamer. And over here you see that a guy will be Metamer. To answer the contradiction, now we're saying the other Pshat that we had. When the Jew is ruling, then the, the non-Jew is fearful and he won't be metamer. When they rule over themselves, in other words, us, then they can do whatever they want and we're concerned that they will metamer the woman. Says the Gemara, says in the Mishnah, if she goes into prison because Rashi in the Mishnah says she was a killer, she killed somebody, let's say, and she deserves the death penalty, so once she deserves that death penalty, people are going to be mafka her. She, she's worthless. So they're going to be, she's going to be mizana, and maybe she'll do a beratzin, and then she becomes also to her husband. Omerav, another pshat. Kigoy noshe ganovim. The wives of ganovim. You believe this? In those days, in certain places, if a man stole, they would kill him, and therefore his wife became... Hefker, forget about cutting off their hands, Saudi Arabia style. This is kill. Gneva, kill. And Memela, why Rashi doesn't say that in the Mishnah, is a Shiloh. No. Maybe that's why. Levi says, it's not the wife of somebody that stole, it's a wife of a murderer, like Ben Dunai. Brings his name, Eliezer, Ben Dunai. He's a, a famous killer. And his wife was Hefke. It's only after there's a psak from the Bezdin or from the, the court that this person dies or this woman dies. What I said before, this is maybe, the, no, Rashi doesn't say any of these Pshatim in the Mishnah. Not even Levi, because we're talking about the husband here. She's the wife of a killer, she's the wife of a Ganov. The Rashi in the Mishnah says she herself is the killer. Says the official Mishnah, sponsored by Moshe Cohen for Atzlacha with Limit Atari and Parnasa. Ir Shikavashua Karkoim. The enemy conquered the city, there's a siege on the city. Also, very, very sad halacha. Since a Koyhenis, even if she was forced, she becomes also her husband. So now we have to assume the worst. You have the non-Jewish military coming in. So they all become also to their husbands. Terrible. And if they could find somebody, anything. If the slave says, I saw that this woman was by herself. She never was with anybody. They're believed. Go back to their husband. Even the husband cannot testify, the wife can't testify, they cannot, they're not believed on themselves. This happens to be, and we'll see in the, the following Mishnah, maybe one of the saddest halachas that I know of. You have, or the most unbelievable, like mind-boggling halacha. You have a man and a woman who know for 100% that nothing happened to her. He was holding her hand, the Mishnah says in Omad Beis. Literally holding her hand the entire time, nobody touched her. Halacha is, yes, to divorce her. Why? I know that this is not treif. I know, I saw the shechita. I, how can you tell me what something is? No. Divorce your wife. It's unbelievable. It's not just sad halacha. Says the Gemara, I have a question. If you have these, the secret service, the baleshes, they come to look for things. It's peaceful. We're concerned for Yai Nessa. If you have an open barrel of wine, they're going to go like this as they pass by. They'll mix it up. It becomes Yai Nessa. 
Stumois mutaris. If the barrel is closed, sealed, it's motor. When you're in the middle of war, you don't have time for religious things. You're not going to start mixing wine now for the Avedi Zara. You, you're, you're on a mission. You're fearful for your life. You keep on moving. So everything is motor. Even open barrel. You hear this? Even open barrel, the, the soldier doesn't have time to go like this. There's no time for it. Omer of Mori. So what's the question? How is it by us that you have women that they're all lost? Who has time for that? Who has time to be metama women? They don't have time for the Avid Zara. What's the obvious answer? Omar of Mori, Livol Yesh Pnai, Lenasechim Pnai. For the religious stuff, no. Rabbi said, what do you see from here? Something that's important to you, no matter what. Even if you're in the middle of a war, you're fearful for your life, you're going to make time for it. No matter what, you always have to make time. There's no excuses. No excuses. My wife is giving birth. I'm sick. No excuses. I'm serious. Take this as a, as a lesson. Rabbi Yitzchak Bar I could be miyash of the stira. When you're talking about your own soldiers from your own country and they're collecting taxes, let's say, they have to be nice to the city. They can't violate women there. They're expecting people to cooperate. When you're the enemy, I mean, you heard the trash. First of all, the Nazis, forget that, but Maisim that happened even when uh, in Iraq and in, even today, this week, this week in Ukraine, even this week in Ukraine, they had, they had a video. Okay, soldiers do crazy stuff. Says Gemara, ask the Gemara, even if it's your own country, you're not going to have some, some Baltaiva Meshogana that's going to sneak out and, and, and pass all these women. No, we're talking about there's a lot of guards making sure that the city is safe from their own people. It says, uh, People fall asleep on the job. They, they, they fall, the Mishmar is in the middle of two, three in the morning, right? Listen to this. Surrounding the city. They had chains, so that if anybody runs away, they trip over the chain, it rattles the chain. The kalva, they have dogs. Ugvaza, spikes. A little uh, barbed wire. Vavaza, geese. So somebody sent me yesterday, and I looked it up afterwards. Check this out. Here we go. Why China is using guard geese to uphold its zero COVID policy? Maisa Shahoya, look it up. Geese are very, very aggressive and very protective. And they make this crazy honking sound. And they have very, very good hearing. So if you try to penetrate the border, China, who, if you walk in the street in China, you cross on a crosswalk. I just spoke to, to Nathan. He goes to China every, every month. If you cross the crosswalk in China on a, on a red, the face recognition technology catches you and takes points off your status, social security card, and then you cannot buy a ticket on the train to go in business class. You're from the, from the, the guys there. And they mamish, they treat you, everything you do. You do this, they catch you there. China, with all the technology, uses geese to guard the border. As I state, they don't have lasers, they don't have this, geese. Okay. As I state though, here, today, in COVID, the generation of COVID. <laughs> Not electronic geese, these are geese. Yeah. So anyway, no one is coming into the city because the goose might attack him and therefore the women are safe. He's, he's fine with the terrorists that we said before that if it's your own country, it's your own soldiers, they're not going to attack the people with inside. Ah, you're going to have this Baltaiva guy sneak out and the, the guy's going to fall asleep. I'm not concerned about those questions. But the other one was concerned. So he had to come on to this, 
interesting terrace that there's chains and there's uh, geese. Omer Avidi Barov and Omer Yitzchuk Bar Hashem. Im Yeshom Machboi Achas Matzel Sakanos Kulon. This is a, a beautiful sugya. Can learn different things for different places and chats from here. What if you have one hiding place for a thousand women? So, say she's married her last month. because we have a good, a good, a good uh, cover for her. And again, we're talking about, as the Gemara is going to point out, somebody might have been Metama. There's no Adam that saw that. We have to assume that there's some bad guys that are Metama, and it's almost 100% that it happened. But if she has a way out, she has like a, one of those, uh, you know, in the war they had those, not like a tunnel underneath the shoal, you know, you pick up a little uh, door and by the Arn Kaidish, sneak in, and all the women can go there. What if this trap door could only hold one woman and there's a thousand women in the city? Could all thousand use that as a hatter? Could you say on each one that she's tired? It's impossible that all thousands should fit in there. Some they don't have a hatter. And this guy running around violating people. So maybe this, this woman is also to her husband. Says the Gemara, the famous Sugya, Shas Kotan. Shnei Shvilim. You have here is the picture. You have two pathways. So if you look closely at this picture, I actually put in a, a grave right in B, right on top of where it says B. There's a real grave there in the picture, but it's not noticeable, obviously. It, it's invisible. The point is that if somebody's going to walk on path B, let's say, we don't know which one it is, A or B, but let's say B, he's 100% going to step over this grave. You step over a grave, you become Tomei Oyo. Now the problem is, I don't know who walked on B. I don't know who walked on the grave. Maybe the grave is on A, maybe it's on B. We know that somebody was once buried there 200 years ago. He walked on one of them, and then he came home, and, he, and he, he's touching all the fruit, so, obviously, factor went on one, and our dentist from the five towns, Rabbi Klein. Not the LC Klein. Biyamin Schwartz went on the other. But we don't know where the tomb is. Biyamin Schwartz. If they come individually to the rabbi, he's going to say to both of them, you are tar. Because each one individually, I can't say that you're tar. We're going to see soon. This is Rishus Rabbim. Sofik Tumah Rishus Rabbim is always what? Tahar. But if both come to the Rav and Binyamin and Avi come to the Rav and they say, hey, we, we both walked on, I walked on A and he walked on B and we know there's a grave in one of them, we don't know which one. The Rav is going to have to say, based on what you're telling me, one of you is Tommy, you're both Tommy. Rabbi Yossi Oimer, and this is the problem for us, this Rabbi Yossi, Bengach Bengach no matter what, how you. One of them for sure went on the grave, so both of them we have to make them tell me we don't know what's going to happen. So Melo, by us also, you have women that were 100% violated or 99.9% violated. So how could they all be soimich on a trapdoor in the shul? One of them for sure was violated. So then they all become violated. Just like over here, one of them for sure went on the cave, on the grave. They're all tame. So the women are all tame. So Rav says, when they come together, everybody agrees that they're Tomei. The Rav has no way to, to be mad through this. The, the, the Shiloh is right in front of him. If, you, if, he's at, if you're asking me a question between, forget people, A and B, is the Tum on A and B? 100% is Tum on A and B. So if two people come from A and B, one of them is for sure Tomei, and they're both Tomei. And if they come one after the other, definitely Tar. Why? Because again, Sofik Tuma Bershusarabim Tahar. If a person comes and asks a question for his friend, I love this question. There's a, a Misa. I once saw a guy in a, in a bookstore. He's like, he's like in a Barnes and Noble or something. Here in Eretz Yisrael. He goes to the lady, he goes, oh, Excuse me. My friend was wondering, do you have a book on um, self confidence? <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. Bemis. My friend was asking, he was wondering if you have such a book. Anyway, fine. A guy comes to the Gary Rebbe and says, my friend, my friend had a shayla for, for the Rebbe. So the Rebbe smiled at him, the Gary Rebbe, and he, and he said, ah, chaval, next time 
tell your friend to come and say that it's for his friend. Okay. Anyway. So over here, it was, he comes and he says, my, my friend at a Shaila, he went on B, I went on A, what, what should we do? So Rabbi Yudah says, I think it's Rabbi Yudah. We have Rabbi Yossi says, no, fuck it. Rabbi Yossi says, it's Vasachas. If one person asks for two people, so it says, if two people came to ask the Rav, the ball told me. Rabbi Huda holds, Umar This case of asking for a friend, even though it's two people, it's as if they're coming, they're coming in different times because he's, the Rav is not mechuyif to answer for the friend. First he'll answer the guy that asked the question, you're Tahar. Oh, and you asked me another question about your friend. He's also Tahar. It happened one after another. They're not together. Fine. Ask the Gemara Vachanami, give the Sharlu Lekulo, since you're allowing all these women, they're, they're, they're coming to ask the Shiloh together, L'chaira. it's a one city question. Are these women muttered to their husbands or not? Says the Gemara, what's the, what's the connection? In the case of the two pathways, we know there's a grave 100%, we just don't know if it's on A or B. We don't know 100% that there was a violation going on here. Maybe there wasn't. Mela, it's different than the tar. Another gishmak ishayla in halacha. If a woman says about herself, she says about herself, I did not hide in that trap door, but I'll tell you something else. I also didn't have any tuma. Me, I'm reading on Mali the Shak here. It's, uh, this is the Shaila that we're dealing with a lot. She has a Migui Lukhaira. If she wanted to lie, she could have said, I was in the trapdoor. Now, what's the weakness in that Taina? The weakness is she's scared. Maybe she'll get uh, caught. Uh, that that the trapdoor only holds five people from the entire city. How is she? It's not so gishmak for her. Sometimes it's even better for her to just lie and say, I didn't go pretend that she's Chashev, like she's saying the truth, but I wasn't Tommy. Sponsored by my children in honor of Zach the, Zach the Rock, Rocklin, and Lenny Lerner, CPA. And Yanko Cohen, the official MDOA, MSP. These things are mamish. Hudi Newman, in honor of Rebelli. Let's just keep it like that. Ishkoyach. If I have to pay him back his money, it's fine. Umaish Namahu Maiso. Why is this any different than the story that Ugavro, the Ogale Khan I love this, this mamish, love this stuff, Rabbi Isai. Think about these questions to yourself. A guy, here, Bismanazir, I lend you my car, I tell you, don't drive in the snow. My car is going to break down in the snow. It happened to me last year, don't drive in the snow. The guy comes back with a broken car. Yeah, but the same thing. The guy comes back with a car, it's broken. No, I promise I didn't drive in the snow. There's snow all over the city. No, where I drove, there's no snow. Fine. He says over here the same thing. He rented a donkey to his friend and he unconditioned. I don't want you to take this donkey through the water. He'll die in the water. Go through the other way. So this guy goes right through the, the place that he told him not to. And then the donkey dies. Yes. I admit that I went in the wrong way, the way he told me not to go. Mew, but I'll tell you, that day, the water receded, there's no water. Why should I lie? Why should I lie? I once saw an uh, advertisement, and I'm not saying that I believe in this, I just, it says, how do you know when is lying? When he opens his mouth, <laughs> and I'm just, uh, whatever happened to whatever. I was just saying, I thought it was a good line. Miley Shaka, okay, huh? All about Miley Shaka. He boy Amalei, but we're going to know Shasli. If the guy was a real liar, he didn't have to say, "Oh, I went in the place you told me not to go." I'll just say, "No, I went." You know, you don't know. There's no GPS. I went in through Narash. There's no water there anyway. He admitted that he went to the place you told him not to go, and, and he's also Peshasa Peshitr, sort of. I am Migui, Peshasa, whatever you call it. It's Mali Shakir, yeah, Migui. I went where you told me not to go, but I promise you that the, your animal died for other reasons. And Melan Pot. 
Okay, Abaye says, that's ridiculous. Everybody knows there's water. Well, punk, you went. Every, it's a non that there's water there. And that's different. Okay, fine. So that explains it. You're asking me, what's the difference between that story and this story? Because his story doesn't add up. He went in a place with his water, and there's always water, and I don't trust him that punk that day that he went, there's no water. Kacha. Because he didn't want to, ain't no the mayors. I don't know what. Somebody saw him not over there. I don't know what. When there is a chashash, then you say mali the shaker. We do say mali the shaker. Unbelievable. We're so makele with a shvuya, with a with a woman who was captured that that her that a slave could testify for her, even her own slave. So this is a problem. Very meaning. So the story is like this. Rashi explains the story. You can see in Rashi. You have a shchiv a guy that's dying, and the guy that's dying is always concerned that his wife is going to fall yibum to his brother, who's not the best guy in the world. His wife doesn't like him. Whatever. So he gives her a get on condition. That it should be chal retroactively. It should be chal. Here's the get today. If I die in two years from now, or a day from now, whatever I die, the get is going to be chal retroactive. So those two are not allowed to be together in the same room. They're not allowed to have yichud. Yichud. Why? Because if they do, it's called the get yashan, old get. People are going to say, let's say, let's say it's a two-year span. He gave it to her in 2021. He ended up dying in 2000, oh, today's 22, right? 22. In 2024, he dies. And then, retroactively, the get was chal in 22. Meanwhile, she had a kid in 23. So people are going to say that she had a kid after she was divorced, that she was single then. So the kid says, the get yashan, if anybody's misyachid, with a, with a get that's predated, the get is possible. So it says like this, like this, yachadimo, Anytime she's with him, she needs aid so it says here you could use anybody, even a slave, but not her shivcha. Why? And the Gemara explains. She has no busha. She's comfortable with her own shivcha. She might have relations with her husband in front of the shivcha and not be worried about her own shivcha. Her shivcha won't rat her out. There's a certain uh, loyalty. Code. Yeah, it's interesting. The Gemara brings in Nida Daf Yudzayin. The Gemara says that it's mutter to be mishamish in front of a slave because the slave is a behema. You see that people it was a thing. Fine, huh? Nine hundred ninety-five days ago. Yudzayin. No, I didn't start in the beginning of. Uh, I started Nida Daf Yudalit. That's when the streak started. Oh, three days into the streak. Unbelievable! Wow. What? Is what? We started here 1,632 days ago? Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow, remember that day? Yeah, it's more than half a shot. No, it's half a shot. I don't know. What's the, what's 2,700? 1,300 is half a shot. So it's more than half a shot. Yeah. Fine. Papi. Oh, so I actually, I did a thing here. Here, check this out. On the right side, it says on top. It's not the it's not the best, but the, the highlight the highlight of the of the thing is the two black boxes. On the one hand, we have that a shivcha is believed. On the other hand, it says shivcha is not believed. So we have three tirutzim. First heritage is Rav Papi. We're gonna have Rav Papi and Rav Papa. Rav Papi says b'shvuya ikilu. There's a difference between uh, shvuya. We make every kind of uh, cool in the world. Why? We said the svar before because a woman who's captured will be manavel herself she'll make herself look ugly and act crazy all that they shouldn't touch her so there's a special kula that a shifcha is believed the other side where a shifcha is not believed is when he gives her a get and there's no reason to believe the shifcha there so he kind of flips it it doesn't say shifcha so it's shifcha so her shifcha is not believed his shifcha is believed, again, because of that svara. Her, her shifcha, it's like her almost. We'll see as such a svara too, but there's no bush between them. She's not believed. But his shifcha is different. 
Says the Gemara Bishir the da loy mehemna what her own slave is not believed. Haktani ain't other meyed alatzmoi. It says in our mission the only person who can testify is that person himself, her, her husband. But it's mashma al shichdi da mehemna a slave is. Says the Gemara Shiv chasa nami katzim dami. The Gemara says no, that your slave is included in your category. You and your slave are one. You go together. Everything's together. You sleep together. It's the whole night. Okay. Ravashi Omar hava ha b'shiv chadi da. Ravashi says, no, we're talking about her slave. Just on the right, where she's Neman, why she believes, because she has to testify. To, make, to do something positive, that we're not choshish, she's going to lie. To stay still and not say that the, the, the zikhod, that is a problem, right? So when a shifcha is not believed, is when the husband gave her a get, and... She doesn't rat them out. Okay, not ratting out, not going physically to bed and say, hey, my master had yichod, you should pass it again. That you won't do. Sheval Taisa. But, Shev, uh, what's the, Kumba say, to get up and go to bed, if she did that, that's a riot that she's saying to Amos. Hosa, on the Shikos Matirosa, loy mehemno. Hocha, the Shikos Yisarto mehemno. Hashtanami asyu mishakro, tarti loy avdo. So the Gemara says, but now maybe she's still lying. Maybe at the Hashanah, Asim Shakur, she'll get up to bed and she'll lie. Tarti lo'avda. To be quiet is one problem, one thing. But to get up and testify, that's a second problem. She won't do that. It's similar. Uh, remind me of the gra. A beautiful gra. I know we're later. But got to re- say this gra over all the time. It says that a person, when he comes up, his nisham is going to have din v'cheshben. Din v'cheshben. What's din v'cheshben? The din... Is on the Avera person does. The Cheshbin is on what the mitzvah he could have done and he didn't do. This is the, the Kumvase and this is Sheva Al Taisa. There's two, it's two things actually. That's what the Gemara is saying. It's Tarti. One is the fact that she didn't go. Okay, but there's also to get up and go. Fine, we have to think about that. I think the Chavz Chaim brings it also in Lashonara. When you speak Lashonara, you're going to get punished on the Lashonara, but also on the fact that you didn't learn Torah in that minute. Zog the Gemara. Um, we see this idea of Tarti Le'avda, she won't do two bad things. Kiha Mori Barisa. Barisa. This guy, Mori, a tough guy, like a mafia guy, a brother shows up, Shama Aleichem. He knew that he had a brother somewhere. His father told him about this little kid that he brought once to Chutz Laaretz and he stayed there. All of a sudden, this kid shows up. He makes it to the NBA and all of a sudden, oh, I'm your kid. I want to be, I want a half of the Yerusha. I don't recognize you. Who are you? says, bring a ride that it's you. They didn't recognize Yosef at Tzadik, but Yosef at Tzadik recognized him. Mom is here in the nine days. A lot of the new guys that only know me with the beard, they're not going to recognize me. It's going to be a new Magid in a few days. Just keep the beard. Uh, this other Magid with beards. Milamech Yotza Beloy Chasim Azokan Uba Bechasim Azokan. This is a Gevaldik Akashir. If Yosef at Sadiq looked exactly like Yaakov Avinu, how did the brothers not recognize their own father? It looks like the father. What's the answer? Gevaldik answer. Yaakov Avinu, when those kids, when all the Shvatim were born, they were, he was at least 84 years old. So he's an old man, Yaakov Avinu. And Yosef was only 39 when they saw him. It's not the answer. Yeah. Uh, Rabbi Yisai, Ayin and Nachman Sels' new book is, is a much better, bo- well, much better answer. answer. When you don't believe that someone could be that, then it that's also that's, that's one of the ans- that's one of the answers. You like that? Yeah, he was talking. There's some that answer that. I didn't, I didn't like it as much, but you it's like it great. Answer. You like it? Okay. So I'm, not, I'm not judging answers here. You can judge. He's saying he's saying because he spoke in, in in a different language. He looked different. He acted different. He's the king. They didn't expect it. Okay. Even though he looked. Identical, exactly say, identical to the father. They didn't say, "Whoa, look at that guy." He's obviously in the lineup. No, they didn't say that. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not. It's the vinu minay. The guy ran along. Oh, so he says, "Omer le zilai sisad dachuat." So Rav Chizda says, "You gotta, you gotta bring Adam. Without Adam, you're nothing." Omer le isli saadim is the vinu minay. The guy ran along. Alima, alama. Everybody knows this guy. He's a, he's a terrible guy. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's in the mafia. He'll, he'll destroy people. So listen to this. Rav Chizda says, Rav Chizda tells Mari, Zilai sinu at the lava chuchu. So enochanami, you have to prove that you're not his brother. Omale, he's not a stamma mafia guy. He's a tamad chacham mafia guy. Omale, dina hachi, amayzim chaver al raya. 
What do you mean? I, I have to bring a raya. He has to bring a raya. I'm going to make a special din just for you. And all your mafia friends. Ha, says the Gemara, but what do you, what do you gain? Ashtanami also mishakri. But he's a mafia guy. So all the Edim that he brings are going to be liars. Tarti lo yavdi. Okay? Two things. To, to be quiet is one. But to come forward and testify. Let's say, let's say they know testimony that he's a brother. And they won't say it. Okay, that's one problem. But to come forward and to lie and to say something against, the, uh, against them. That's two things. And here you see the idea that to do two wrongs. They won't do. Fine, we'll stop here even though I don't want to stop here. Have a wonderful day.